This is B.V. Ramana. Welcome to B.V. Ramana English Grammar. In this video, I would like to share with you the topic, same word as different parts of speech. How to identify whether a particular word is a conjunction or a preposition or an adverb. Sometimes we come across the same word functioning as different parts of speech in a text. But our children may find it difficult to identify whether the word concerned is a conjunction or preposition or an adverb. Here are some clues. Here are the clues. Number one, if a word is followed by subject plus verb, that means a clause, then we can easily say that the word is a conjunction. Okay, word taravata. Manaki subject plus verb anaga oka clause can pinch at late a word nimano solabanga chepe ochu adi conjunction ani. If a word is followed by only a noun phrase or gerund form, then we can easily say that the word concerned is called preposition. Oka word taravata oka noun phrase gani oka gerund form matrame unte. A word ni mano preposition ni easy ga chepe If a word is followed by nothing or adjectives or adverbs, then the word concern is called an adverb. Oka word taravata manaki e padamena lakapoina leda oka adjective gani adverb gani kani pinchina mano a word ni adverb bani easy ga good to Let's try these clues with some examples. In this set, the first sentence, come forward and look above. Here above is called adverb because after above we find nothing. No word is found after above, so it is an adverb. But in the second sentence, after above we find a noun phrase, that is the C level. So it is called preposition. Above Taravata, A Vadu Ledgabati, than Adverb Bani. Renda Vakyolo, above Taravata, a noun phrase can piston the Gabati, than the minimum preposition and unto. Now let us look at the second set. Here in the first sentence, after the word after, we find a noun phrase, the work. So it is called preposition. In the second sentence, after the word after, you find a clause that is subject plus verb. So it is called conjunction. In the third sentence, after the word after, there is nothing. No word is there. So here the word after is called adverb. In the first set, in the first sentence, after the word before, there is a noun phrase that is the work. So here the before is called preposition. In the second sentence, after the word before, we find subject plus verb that is a clause. So here the word before is called a conjunction. In the third sentence, after before, we find no word. So here the word before is called an adverb. In the second sent, in the first sentence, after the word as, we find a noun phrase that is a doctor. So here the word as is called a preposition. In the second sentence, after the word as, we find a clause that is subject plus verb. So here the word as is called conjunction. In the third sentence, after the word as, we find an adverb that is always. So here as is called an adverb. In the first set, after the word but, we find a noun phrase that is him. So here but is called preposition. In the second sentence, after but, 
we find a clause that is subject plus verb that is he is so here the word but is called a conjunction in the second set after the word at we find no word so here the word at is called an adverb in the second sentence of the second set after the word at we find a clause that is subject plus verb that is he plus verb is so here the word at is called a conjunction in this set after the word down there is a noun phrase that is the hill so the word down is called a preposition in the second sentence after the word down there is no word is there so we call this an adverb in this set in the first sentence after the word since there is a noun phrase that is april so here the word since is called a preposition in the second sentence after the word since there is a clause that is subject plus verb that is he plus left so here the word since is called a conjunction in the third sentence after the word since there is no word so here it is called an adverb in the fourth sentence also after the word since we find no word so it is called an adverb in this first set after the word that we find an adjective that is good so the word that here is called an adverb and in the second sentence after that we find a clause that is he may pass that means we have subject plus verb so the word that here is called a conjunction in the second set after the word till we find a clause that is subject plus verb that is you plus verb come so here the word till is called a conjunction in the second sentence after the word till we have a noun phrase that is monday so the word till is here called a preposition in the third set after the word up there is no word at all so here the word up is called an adverb but in the second sentence after up there is a noun phrase that is the hill so here the word up is called a preposition here is an exercise identify the parts of speech of the underlined words here in the first sentence the underlined word is but in the second sentence the underlined word is after in the third sentence the underlined word is before in the fourth sentence the underlined word is till in the fifth sentence the underlined word is but in the sixth sentence the underlined word is before in the seventh sentence the underlined word is after in the eighth sentence the underlined word is still now we have to identify the parts of speech of these underlined words basing on the clues find here the answers now friends let me know do you think this video is very useful if so please subscribe to my channel tapping subscribe button on youtube thank you very much for watching namaste